Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. My beautiful Libra, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Libra, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, Libra. As well, if you enjoy this reading, Libra, or you just enjoy my vibe, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Libra. Ugh, like and subscribe, Libra, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Uh, and now, Libra, before we get into your reading, one last thing, just want to remind you that to use your intuition, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Libra. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. My readings here are just to provide some food for thought, a perspective to consider, Libra, but never making the choice in your life to give just your life to live, not mine, and not these tarot cards. So, with all that being said, Libra, let's now finally get into your weekly tarot reading. So, uh, I'm gonna put these two cards here to the side, actually, Libra. So I pulled some cards already, Libra, just so I could get an idea of what all is going on for you in this current time frame. Uh, and we have the Page of Water coming in for you as one of the encompassing energies this week. So this is a card saying a new person enters your life, a uh, relationship uh, begins a new phase, and heightened psychic abilities, Libra. You could be in a time of where I do kind of, I'm seeing like you, like I'm seeing like water going into like, like flooding into like a dry desert. And so it kind of feels like for some of you Libras, you are uh, reigniting. I know I just said like water and I said reigniting Libra, but it's almost just like you guys are now putting like new life, breathing new life, new energy into um, some type of, uh, some type of energy exchange that you already have had so whether this is like a person or a job or a passion or something something that you kind of like was left for dead that you put to the side for a while libra it feels like there's just like new life coming forth um into something that you already at once invested some type of energy into essentially does that make sense libra um and so yeah with the page of water this could also signify a new person coming into your life page of water represents page of cups and that is something that it does kind of imply uh, and then continuing on with this though, Libra, we have the Five of Water. Things are not turning out the way that you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation and crying over spilled milk. So perhaps, Libra, uh, you dealt with this situation of where you kind of probably, especially looking at your other cards, Libra, I'm getting like this impression of where you kind of are battling two different things it, because it feels almost like you're dealing with like one situation over here where like you're putting like re like re like bringing uh new life new energy into a situation and i feel like that feels good to you but it's like in this process of you doing this i feel like you only have the energy to do this now because you are in this place of um working out this other situation almost because it, there's like almost two different storylines that are seemingly connected but because there's like this weird balance between it being like seemingly really good and you're in the right direction, Libra, but also just this in this constant state of like, kind of just like in this place of like, ah, man, did it have to happen this way? Again, I think I even said this before for one of your readings, Libra, where you're kind of just like in a state of just feeling like, ah. So let me explain why I'm feeling this way though, Libra. Because with this five of water, this is the crying over spilled milk of something that kind of happened, right? Um, you have the four of air coming in here or the four of swords saying uh, time to take a rest or vacation, allowing more time to make a decision, meditation providing the answer. Like, it almost feels like because like something was spilled in your life libra right like those glasses ended up being uh, glasses of milk being spilled it almost seems like you took this step back and you're analyzing this now libra and you're just like huh like where like it's it seems almost just like the sense of reevaluation that you've had and that's where again i feel like it gets back into where it's like putting water into like this dry desert of where it feels like you didn't have the energy or the 
uh, the resources before to put energy into something. But since this five of water uh, moment with the four of air, where you kind of like something that was kind of probably seen as like a bump in the road or something that was pretty heavy for you to like a blow, um, blow to the stomach sort of thing for you, Libra. It's almost like now after that moment where you had to take that pause and just like take take it in. You probably were in your feelings for a while, Libra. Very much so getting out of a rut when you fell off that horse. You kind of like realized you're like, okay, first you were like hiding with your tail between your legs, taking that situation in. And, and then now after that situation, you're just like, you know what? It's almost like you have a new perspective or just like re-motivated and just you now have the resources to just sink energy into something new after this, right? It's just like this didn't work out and then you're just like as you Libra you're just like all right let's make new ground right you have the knight of earth coming in here or the knight of pentacles Libra which says time to buckle down and get things done honoring your commitments and a guardian angel now Libra whenever I see this card coming forward I always say uh this is when whatever it is that you choose to believe in Libra your ancestors your guides whatever insert your belief system here right I do usually feel as if this is like your spirit guides trying to reach out to you right trying to make a connection with you trying to help assist you maneuver maneuvering through this journey this new territory that you're going through as the knight of earth and so um yeah this really just hones in on this message where it's just like something built a lot of character in you libra and it's almost as if now like even how you're holding yourself is different how you're presenting yourself is different it just everything feels different now after this situation here right because i don't feel like this is even relevant anymore i feel like you kind of just moved on from this situation but this was such an essential uh um obstacle that you needed to work through um and then you continue on with the forward motion right because this is when the chariot like with the chariot card coming in i was like this is where it's like that weird energy where it's just like okay like you dealt with like this weird uh situation but then you're making a lot of new ground and like you're really like learning more about yourself like page of water just like a lot of like in the right direction uh cards libra and so number seven so write down the number seven for numerology libra to see how it correlates with your reading um and then archangel metatron if you are open to working with archangels uh libra archangel metatron is definitely trying to reach out to you just because when you have that knight of earth as well pairing it up guardian angel like hello i mean it kind of like writes itself out doesn't it libra and so this card says important achievement self-discipline and willpower and public recognition now libra with this card as well i kind of i make the joke i kind of see this as like the uh uber service from spirit like your guardian angel almost where it's like um the universe spirit whatever it is insert your word right um sending out this chariot to assist you along in your path right uh you you know think about it in this way your friend's not going to send an uber service to take you further down the wrong direction right and so think about it from a spirit from spirit's perspective of where it's like if you weren't on the right path this chariot card wouldn't be coming forward in this way right so it's all in the name of where it's just like after you have like this humbling sobering moment here libra this is what inspires you buckling down and really cranking at like this page of water situation um i feel it just feels like you're making time uh for things now that are that will like be of extreme benefit for you right with that chariot card i mean it's it just speaks on the public recognition it speaks on um really just accomplishing things with an important achievement card when as it says that right it just overall is like a message of you're on the right path continuing so just continue on but now we have a couple of other cards that came out uh for this spread libra we have the five of wands with the nine of uh wands so this is extremely powerful libra because these two extra cards that just came out um come in as this message where it's just like in your path right now libra <laughs> it just is you're going to be experiencing conflict right uh five of wands is my card of conflict and or conflicting goals and all that competing goals and all that so there's something like that's the roadblock i was talking about with that five of water uh four of air libra and then with the nine of wands i say this is the card of like the person that's on the the individual who's on their journey to become the 
queen of wands right to really allow themselves to just set themselves free and like focusing in and honing in just on their passion and really growing that uh spark that's within them right so this is the card of where it's just like you're on that journey building that character right and so when you have these two here libra this confirms to me that you probably have been in this state for a while of dealing with a lot of conflicts in your life where it's like you're not even trying to have conflicts happen and they kind of just seemingly attract to you in some way right and the conflict doesn't have to come in as people libra it could be coming in as well it's just like every single day that you like it just feels like you're probably dealing with a lot of resistance right i'm trying to like cut myself off libra because i know i can get into a long tangent so uh wonderful cards with that libra and now let's get into um let's just get into like the blessings coming to you libra how's that sound right let's get into the blessings that are in the works for you this week right let's see cards already flying out yeah so let's get this set up for you, Libra. Ooh, good cards, good cards, honey. So Libra, you have the Eight of Wands coming out for you. You have the Magician, as well as the Ten of Pentacles, Libra. So remember, these are the blessings in the works for you this week. Uh, and with this dynamic, Libra, this is very much so where I would say this is a really good time, Libra, to just like throw a bunch out there and see what sticks, right? I'm seeing, you know, I don't know if this is even a thing. I think it's a thing uh, where it's like the way to test spaghetti is like throwing it at a wall to see if it's done and if it sticks, it's done or something like that. I kind of feel like it's that vibe, right? With this eight of wands here, this is like you throwing out just a bunch of stuff, Libra, just doing whatever you can because as a magician, you're this place of creation, right? So if we're going to use an analogy just so I can get out this message, Libra, mm, um, <laughs> so ridiculous. Um, you as a magician, if we were going to call you just like the chef, you're the magician is the person who's constantly in this pr uh, process of creating their reality and really just just manifesting right and so as the magician like as that chef like you're in this process of like boiling water right now honey and so you have all these noodles just start throwing it out there and see what sticks libra because then uh you might be surprised by what sticks from those um, eight noodles that you throw honey uh because of this ten of pentacles libra now this ten of pentacles is that extreme stability that family life that really good for finances right it just feels like this overall like something that you throw out there libra is going to stick and once it does stick it's going to bring a lot of good for you so even though you have been dealing with like this conflict right now libra right with that five of wands you've been dealing with some conflict honey you've been dealing with some obstacles you've been dealing with some resistances that's okay don't feel like it's okay to feel beaten up by it but don't t don't feel don't don't give up libra because this is part of your process it's part of the path right now it's all according to plan it may not feel lovely right now but you know how much but how much fun would life be if everything just came so easily i know it's a lot easier like even me saying it i'm just like okay honey but it would be nice to experience what life is like without those struggles honey imagine libra what it would be like to just like be born into into that generational wealth honey imagine if we were born all born into like not having to have any worries and stresses in the world right life would probably be pretty good but even then i feel like we'd find something to complain about right I feel like that's human nature. So Libra, good cards for that. Let's now get into what it is that you should be watching for this week. Libra. What is it that Libra should be watching for this week? And when I say watching for, I know that sounds so ominous, uh, but more so this could be just like something that you could be working on this week. So you uh, don't, uh, Build, so you don't put any more resistance towards bringing uh, anything good through, right? Does that make sense? Um, <clears throat> holding yourself accountable, essentially, Libra. So, what is it that Libra should be watching out for this week? You have the Fool card with the Three of Wands, Two of Wands, with the King of Cups. So, Libra, this is one of those cards of just not forgetting your purpose. This is a setup where it's very much so Libra, a uh, with the King of Cups, this is like a 
making sure that your emotions are in the right place with the two of wands and the fool card this is very much so some of you guys are having like an identity crisis almost libra and that's kind of concerning right so really i mean just from like personal experience i guess i would say you know write down things as to what like i don't know i get because it's just such a, a unique uh, we're all in just our own unique individual situations, right? So it's kind of hard for me to give such reassurance to all of you Libras. But, you know, just because you're not at a place that you feel like you should be at right now in your life. If maybe for some of you Libras, you feel like you should have been further progressed at this point. Um, maybe you there's like this sense of just frustration if you feel like you're doing enough, right? Or you're not doing enough, Libra. Right? Don't don't get in your head too much, right? Stay the course, right? As the Fool card and the Two of Wands, it shows to me that some of you guys are afraid that you might be just making foolish decisions with your life and that you now are stressing out um, if it's too late for you to do or for you to accomplish whatever it is that you've wanted to accomplish in your life, Libra. Um, King of Cups here comes in just as the message of just keep, balance, keep yourself balanced, Libra. Stay out of your head, right? um you know we are, are do not just do not sabotage your dreams do not sabotage your goals right we're the only ones that put rules on how things should be how things will be right you have it libra you have it get out of your head so now libra let's get into actually let's do your oracle cards now libra let's see what the oracle cards have to say uh for you this week let's see do we want to do two let's do two cards libra we'll do two animal oracle cards yeah we'll do two animal oracle cards libra and we will also do two uh moon oracle cards so honey maybe i'll spoil y'all and just give y'all three we'll see we'll see we'll see we have one out right now we have three there we go libra i don't make the rules i just follow them all right, so let's go over your moon cards first, Libra. You have the cardinal moon, which says, be bold and make the first move. The new moon in Leo, confidence is the key to your success. What was I saying about just throwing out a bunch of stuff and seeing what sticks, Libra? It's really going in that message. Balsamic moon, a time for healing. And then let's look at your animal oracle cards, Libra. You have the peacock card. Let yourself stand out and be noticed. Can we appreciate Libra just how much this like these oracle cards are correlating so beautifully with the messages that I was saying before, right? With that chariot card, right? We talked about the public recognition for my Libras that are trying to get themselves out. There. Like these, like these cards, like this is part of the reason Libra why like I repeat uh, or why I use so many different decks, and so it's like you can really have the message hone in. And so then you have the panda card, which I suspect is more so paired with because I feel like this card, the peacock card, comes paired nicely with these two cards libra that's how i see this puzzle at least um and then libra i see this panda card coming in with this balsamic moon and time for healing because this card says create a sacred space for yourself in your home uh and or a place of work i feel like this is more so taking a conscious effort at this time libra to uh have places or have like a way to reset even if it's like even if it's like an every single day thing or have your like your place of where yeah you can reset you can ground libra just because of what i was referencing before in this message or where it's just like staying out of your head libra and not allowing your emotions to just uh overwhelm you to overtake you right so uh just keep that in mind libra you absolutely have it keep your head afloat right don't feel overwhelmed right now you got this so one last thing, Libra, before I close out your reading, I'm going to pull a crystal uh, oracle card for you. Uh, see what, if so for my Libras are interested in a stone that they could potentially work with this week if they have it. Or if you're just finding, trying to find an excuse, honey, Libra, to uh, go crystal shopping. We'll find the stone for you that's meant for you this week. And you guys got... Bronzite, uh, number 13 Bronzite. I actually do not know anything about Bronzite, I'm going to be honest. I would probably associate it kind of close to Pyrite, but maybe I could be completely off on that. But I look up the properties of Bronzite Libra, and you can see how it would correlate and see how it would make sense for you. Just about basing it off of, I would be guessing that Bronzite would be, yeah, I would kind of compare it probably to Pyrite just from first impressions, but 
Um, if you know, if you end up looking it up, leave it in the comments below, Libra, and then I will, so we can all just know about it. So yeah, Libra, that's all the cards that I have for you for this weekly reading today. I hope you found some cards that resonated. I hope the message resonated with you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Libra, I do uh, weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, honey, I would really appreciate it if you were to send up one of my videos to them and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Libra, I love you so much. Bye.